Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully complete our how to add some of the validation with using that JavaScript. So without loading that page, now our validation is executed, right? How can do this work? I hope it's very much clear. So now in this video, I want to share another technique. Like if you go to our all blocks, that is all block category. So before you can see I have added some of the serial number, right? I have see the added that serial number. Like if you go to our block category, into the block category, that is our all category, right? So here before I have used it like that way, I added some of the PC block and that is our I is started from to the one and then I make it as a one one. So that is one process. So if you want to do this work with different way, you can also do it, but I show you that is one process. I hope it's very clear. Now I want to do, do, do this work in different way like I remove it and that is our block okay block as item so after that as I want to take one of the new variable I make it as a key okay key here I want to pass all that our item so that is the simple key because in our for for each loop one by one that will be loaded right so here I pass one of the key and that is the key variable okay that is a key variable I make it as a key that will be as a plus one that means af after that one that will be uh, again loop it that will be two then again it will be loop it then that will be three the result will be just like that same so now that is very clean and i will recommend it to use that things like that way now that should be work now click the save all if you now go now refresh it now you can see our result is the same same result is display in here so if you want to add new block category like i just simply add that as a test now click as a add insert block category you can see now there is our another one as a five so I have actually shared both of this with you. So that is very basic. So if, if you want to use it as a key, you can use it and then you can also use it as a PHP block. Okay, I hope it will help you a lot. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.